want to pull, just go right in second. That was second to fifth, and then to sixth. I meant to go to third, but I pushed too hard and went into fifth. Go.getentertowin.com slash regular cars, or click the link in the description as you always did. Mug, digital download, someone's gonna go home with this big boy. The Z06 uh, is on the, it's a bit too much for the street. In so far as they knew, General Motors knew what they were selling was a track car. I think it's just fine out as it is out as someone who wants to go to track days. But to really open up this version of the LS, the LS6, you need to, you know what, we're going to Ben's house. You need to have wide open stretches. You need to have sweeping curves. The urge to pass people in a Z06 Corvette is similar to what you may experience if you drive any Tesla product for the first time. Oh, I can be in front of that guy. I can be in front of that guy, that guy, that guy, on up the hill. The difference is the te uh, Tesla or any EVs for that matter, Ionic 5, uh, Mustang Mach-E, Pol uh, Polestar 2, you can just zip on by and be kind of invisible. This, I'm a bright yellow, low-slung low -slung sports car and this BMW is eyeing me because he put the little stripes on the thing. Yep, he just did a pause. You think, is, is this guy going to go fast up the hill? No, I'm not. Wow, I'm low. Look how big that X5 is compared to me. I'm in sixth gear, just rolling up this hill, no problem. GM, uh, no cup holder will, no cup will fit in this, this, this thing right down there. I have a little uh, espresso to go cup and that's about all that will fit right there. Any sort of cup you need, you need to pass to the passenger or maybe shove down here between that and even then you need a thermos. Is this, uh, he's coming behind me. Visibility out the out the windows is pretty good. Your head checking ability in this car isn't so hot uh, because of the uh, fixed roof coupe. Uh, your B pillar is very very huge. Also, you're looking up at everything. I would never fault anybody for choosing to drive the convertible version of the C5. It opens up. Uh, a lot of visibility for you and considering most people who own these cars just cruise around in them you're not really using uh, you're not really losing much people recognize that you have a hmm, there's that consignment shop up there you know what I am driving the perfect car to go look at a consignment shop to go look at, there's a new shop open there on 61. That's like a classic car sort of thing. And I always uh, like, you know, classic cars for sale. And I never really looked at it before and had a reason I've always driven right by it. But now you know what? I'm gonna hit the jug handle up here and have a look at their inventory. I think I am driving the perfect car to go to a classic car con con consignment shop and look like I know what I want to buy. Because let's be honest, I'm driving an old man's car, but I'm driving a performance version of an old man's car. And I think the C5 will soon find its way into the hands of stock car enthusiasts like myself, who aren't too big into modifying cars. I mean, there's plenty of modifications, of course, and aftermarket stuff to do to any version of the C5. But also realizing that it's, it's fun to enjoy a car now that 20 years have gone by and experience the, the authorial intention of General Motors when they built the C5 
because there was a C5 Z06 and that this car was meant to answer the Dodge Viper. There's where it opens up, three grand. No variable valve timing, this is a push rod engine, but that's where whatever cam in here, uh, which isn't an aggressive cam, there's no lop, 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 lop going on here because of course it idles like butter. But, you know, I wonder if there's, there's an ECU tune going on where 